I want to do this little video. Um, this is my latest setup, uh, 1022 Ruger, basically. And uh, I put a, the kid uh, bolt in it and, and a one stage kid trigger. And that's a KSA 20 inch fluted barrel. That's an eight by 32 by 44 Mueller scope and a Monstrum uh, cantilever there for the mount. But anyway, I wanted to do a, and that's a UTG, a really cool bipod there. But I got a bunch of videos on this. That's not what this is about. What this is about is I started having issues with this. It was shooting great groups and I had it where I wanted it and everything. And all of a sudden I just started losing it. So you start thinking, is it my scope? Is it my barrel? Um, the, this bolt action that I put in is really tight. And uh, I've lost, uh, I've lost a few ammos that I can't shoot in it that I used to when it was factory with this kid set up. But that one stage trigger is awesome. So I'm still deciding on the kid set up, but it does work good for now. It's getting more reliable the more I use it, I feel. But um, yeah, so I started troubleshooting and thinking what it could be. And I was uh, thinking everything about the gun. And then I was thinking, when is the last time I cleaned this barrel real good? And uh, lately I got on this kick of all this lead nose... Uh, ammo for target and accuracy through youtube just checking it out um and so i went from a lot of copper wash to lead so i did i gave it get it i gave it an initial cleaning a ways back and it didn't seem to do anything but i thought you know i did this to my 10 uh, 2245 one time and i scrubbed the heck out of it and i actually got copper off the walls so i did i i took some i've got this jb stuff uh, i got it on brownells years ago and it's like a paste for specifically for barrels and i scrubbed this thing good and i cleaned it and uh very gentle like it is my target rifle it's a ksa 20 inch fluted like i said and i've had it for many years but anyway um and i switched my scopes out this this uh i'm used to this mueller and i went to this scope too so i'm thinking is it the scope with with my eyes or whatever and i'm still getting used to this scope um but i love the mueller put the mueller back on it and um, I'm, this is going to be my setup. This is going on something new and exciting for me. I'll be doing some videos on that. And uh, I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to get that. I got something on layaway that I'm going to pick up. And I'll, I'll do a few videos on it with some accuracy and, and whatnot. And what I'm going to use on it and everything. And uh, But anyway, I got this uh, 1022 firing really good. Switch scopes out because I got this going on something else to reach out a little more. And this 8x32 Target Dot Mueller works for me really good. I'm used to it. Been using it for about six years. And uh, so I did this little video. And there's a little pause in between. A little reloading on some of the last targets I do. But got some total accuracy. And I got my accuracy back. It wasn't the ammo. It wasn't uh, anything other than a little, a little neglect on the barrel. And just uh, keeping that in tune. I don't want to over clean it, I know. But uh, you do got to clean it. And uh, I'm, I'm stoked. I got great accuracy this morning. I shot yesterday and this morning, and that's where I'm at. And uh, for all you uh, guys that watch my videos, sorry for another uh, 22LR video, but um, <laughs> it's probably the last one you're going to see on this vehicle anyway. But do stay tuned to my channel. I really appreciate it. And a quick heads up. That's the stuff I used right there. It's kind of like a paste. Like I said, it's not real gritty. And uh, I was pulling clean patches, thinking that that was clean, until I went back into it with this. I softened it up first with some solvent, dried it out, ran this with a, uh, you know, ran this with a, a bronze brush, and then wiped it back out, and then solvent again to where it's back, just squeaky clean. So, not recommending or anything like that, but it worked for me. Yeah, so this is day one. I just uh, remounted my Mueller 8x32x44 on a nice little Monstrum uh, cantilever scope mount, little one piece. And uh, actually that three, uh, that three inch dot there was where I was, uh, just straight out. I didn't laser bore sight or nothing. I was very impressed, very, very surprised. But uh, there it was. So I went around with these one inch pastes, started on the bottom, worked my way up and uh, probably ended up there in the center, I believe. And so that was Friday after work. It was windy, afternoon, sun shining, different range. Uh, and today I'm going to, a, to another range. I got to shoot through these tubes, but uh, keeps, keeps it nice and it's going to be in the morning. So uh, cold, cold barrel and let's see where I'm at from this zero today. I'm down here at the range this morning. 
and uh, was having some accuracy issues with this. I thought it was my TAC-22. And I know this stuff can be, be pretty decent, 50 yard. And uh, <clears throat> I switched this back over to 8x32x44, my Mueller from my Arkin. I got a new project for my Arkin. I'm going to put that on. And uh, anyway, back to this. I was starting to think, oh, the ammo got a bad batch, blah, blah, blah. I did get a shit ton of this. And uh, it wasn't. I cleaned the shit out of my barrel, scrubbed it good. And I got some good bore cleaner and scrubbed it down. Remounted this on there from my Arkin. And it was within uh, two inches. Really cool. And I even switched out the uh, scope rings there. barrel 50 yards Norma tack and I put my 8 by 32 by 44 back on there and uh, <clears throat> I zeroed it yesterday with about a hundred rounds and uh, I'm happy with that Okay, so I'm going to cap over these with some one-inch black pasters. I think they're tight enough to where I could uh, hide all the holes. And going to go back at this. That's my first rip, and uh, I'm going to film this, this next rip here. <laughs> 